I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS Top Gaming F15 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up, how you can replace your battery for any ASUS Top Gaming F15 model. This one specifically one is an FX506H model but this applies for any F15 series. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or you want to remove it or replace it, uh, this video is for you. People keep always asking me, can I use the laptop without the battery? Sure you can. Uh, as long as you have the power connected, it might take like a 5-10 seconds to, for a laptop to boot on because there's no battery. But after that, it's going to work just fine and with no issues. But if you want to have a really fast boot and stuff like that, then you have to have a battery in there. Because the BIOS takes the voltage from the internal battery. There is no separate battery for the BIOS. Anyway. So let's get to it, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You don't need to back up files or anything like that. And I'm going to face the front end of the laptop towards me. And there's a reason for that. And for the opening tool, the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And for the opening tool, we're going to use a guitar pick. But if you get a pro set of this iFixit screwdriver set, they will include you with the tweezers and opening tool. If not, get the basic set and grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now, on the bottom here, there's all the screws are noticeable. There's no hidden screws down here. There are three types of screws, the long ones, the medium, and the short ones. There is, we're going to start with the short screws. There is only two of them, and they are the front end of the laptop on the corners here. One of the screws, if you're facing the front end of the laptop towards you, the one on the right, we're not going to touch it because it has a little C-lock on the other side. It will prevent the screw from coming out. We're going to remove the only single short screw on the left side of the laptop, and we're going to keep it in one pile. That's the only one we're going to remove for now. We're going to leave this one for the end. Now, the long screws, they are the mid, back, the one at the middle, back side of the laptop, these two right only. So we're going to remove these two long screws and keep them in a different pile. pile. But these are the only two screws that are really long. Now, the rest of the screws are the medium size, except this one, obviously. So remove all the screws, the one in the middle too, and keep them in a different pile. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. And it'll be a great, tremendous support. Thank you. All right. So now that we remove all the medium screws, we're going to put it in there. And we're going to go over the short screws right here. Now, you're going to see that the bottom palm rests right in here. And the palm rest and the bottom cover, there's no space in here. Once we start opening the screw, it's gonna push the bottom cover away from it itself about one half a millimeter, just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see. Yeah, there. You see that little space that it created right there? That's what you want. So once you try to rotate one, it will not come out. So it doesn't matter how much you rotate. Okay. Now, all you need to do to put the, the reason is for the opening to, so for you, it's easier to put the opening tool right in there. You want to put it right in there about one or two millimeters, and then you just want to twist it backward. You want to hit that tiny click. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself all around to the back end, and just go between the port, go to the back jack right there. You're going to start doing the back grill right in there. The grill goes to the cross, put it there and twist it, not focusing, and there is coming opening right there. That's what you want to do. So you want to go to the next grill, and once you did the front and the side, you don't have to worry too much. I'm going to do a little bit more on the front end. I can just grab it. But if you want to be really cautious, go ahead and try to peel the front end too. You want to hear those click sound, that's fine. Those are the clicks that are getting loose. So I did the front, the side, and the back. 
I'm not bothering on the left side, but if you want, go ahead. So I, as long as I lift this side up, I wiggle it around, it will release itself on the bottom. All right. And the battery is right in front of you, right in here. And let me see the model for this one. The model is covered by this tape. I don't know why they put a tape over the model. So let me remove this. There's a model right there. The model is a B31. N1726. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description. All right, to remove the battery, first we're gonna unplug it from here. Let's remove this tape right here. So, to remove it, you want to put your fingers at the side of the white jack and you want to slide it backward in, in straight. Don't go sideways, just pull it backward. You can put a little plastic. Just work it around and it should release itself. There we go. And it will come out. It's a little hard, but you can pull it out. Or if you don't want to do this one, you can leave it there. Go ahead and remove the screws. One, two screws right in here on the side. Remove these two screws. The screw in the middle goes from the bottom casing. So once you remove these two screws, you can grab the battery, bring it up, and then you want to pull it back. It will just pull the jack. It will release it from the jack. So you don't actually have to put your fingers in there. But some people like to disconnect it before they remove the screws, but it's the same thing. You can pull it back, but you're going to trash this anyways. Nothing's going to happen. The, the cables are really, really tough. You can't damage these cables. So once, uh, once you get a new battery in, before you put it in place, align it. Make sure the uh, jack is aligned. The red cable has to face this side to the left and the black to the right. And you want to put it straight inside the jack, squeeze it right in there. Then you want to align it on the screw hole, put it there. Put the two screws on the side. And next thing would be to just grab the cover, bring it up straight and put it down. Squeeze the side, squeeze the back. You want to hear those clicks. On the side and the last first thing you want to put the screws also there is a very important uh, thing you have to know about the batteries once you put the initial charge how you supposed to charge to the initial charge all right i'm going to first put the small screws tighten up i'm going to put the two longer screws back mid and then the rest of the screws goes all over the place now regarding the charging the battery for the first time once you put the battery in there you don't want it power on the laptop right away you want to leave it off you want to plug in the charger and you want to let it there sit there for at least five to six hours charging with power off after that you want to disconnect the charger oh i forgot to put this one over the ram this goes over the ram has a little adhesive i have to open it up to put it back in you want to open it up i mean power it on without the charger and drain the battery slowly do not put any stress or games or anything like that let it drain slowly with a even LCD screen light with a 50%, so it drains slowly. Once it's drained down to what, 5, 10%, 20%, when it wants to turn off, power it off, and then put it for charging for another five to six hours. After that, then you can power it on, use it as you wish. That's the proper uh, way of starting your new battery. And that should be all. Again, don't forget if you remove the this is just a cover to if you look on the bottom side of the laptop you don't see the rams and stuff like that so this cover actually covers it but i don't like to put this one actually on it because you know, with the airflow it can cool down the rams everything like that so i usually remove this ones so yeah i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video